We're here with the alleged members of L Extreme, alleged human beings, alleged musicians. I mean, who knows what they really are? I guess for the first thing that I need to know is the rumor's been for a long time that orgasm is really a, a central part of L Extreme's music. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yes, well, I, I fake my orgasms while I'm playing, and uh, it makes uh, everybody else feel like they're a uh, really important part of the group. Mm -hmm. Well, you seem to wet your lips a lot when, when you're playing. What's, what's up with that? Besides cleansing my soul, it takes the edge off, and uh, as uh, Ray smells as good as he does tonight, it really adds a little punch to the music. So it's more of a group consciousness group, type thing. Content. Ray, you don't talk much, do you? You're kind of a mute. No, I don't talk that much. Uh, I try to keep to myself and keep to my music. Mm -hmm. Just go boom, boom, boom on the drum, drums. There you go. Yeah. We have also here a couple of the members, uh, the Larry, Moe, and Curly of the band, and uh, just kind of wondering, Mark, you're the musical director of the band. You were brought in from Led Zeppelin, I believe. What, what, what was up with that? Right, right. I used to uh, actually uh, run to McDonald's for the people on Led Zeppelin. Ah, yeah. Uh, and I realized at that point that uh, you know, orgasm was very good, okay? And it was very important to me personally mm -hmm. to uh, get involved with Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I see. Brian, you were once an anarchist and the uh, leading member of the bomb-throwing uh, group, uh, Mr. Biscuit and the, and the head head drums or something like that? What, how did that affect the music of Alex Extreme? And where do you see yourself today with the, with the band itself? Well, I'll tell you, Luis, if it wasn't for those meddling kids, I'd have it done today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It affects the music because it just uh, makes me so angry and my anger comes through with my music. I see. Instead of more vandalism and killings. Mm -hmm. John, you've been on parole for a number of years. You're, you're kind of like the sober man of the group. Can you tell us a little bit on the serious side of what the group is uh, going to accomplish? Well, uh, Luis, I think it's going to accomplish a lot, but it's going to do the most for bladder control problems. I see. That's affecting most people who listen to music. Mm -hmm. Or oh, listen to Alex Extreme's music. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Has, was, there was also the story of uh, one, some child uh, jumping out of a window after 22 hours straight of listening to a wild child or biscuit uh, or something no, like that? No, no, no. That's, that's all false rumor. Um, he was pushed. He was pushed? Yeah, he was pushed. That's right. Anybody that we know, or? Uh, yeah, there was a an elderly woman in the next apartment who was just a. Uh, Aunt Evie. 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 Right. Yeah. She was just tired of listening to El Extreme. Uh, mm -hmm. Though you know, as she was being arrested and taken away, she did say that the music was very good, mm -hmm. uh, but she just couldn't take any any more. Twenty two hours uh, pushed her to the edge. I see. We're going to have to wrap this up pretty soon now. But uh, in terms of long range plans and short range goals, uh, what do you think is going to happen with El Extreme? Oh, we're going to take it to the top, no doubt, and uh, just there's no limit to this group because boring. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're, uh, Your they're stock a, answer. A bunch of talented musicians, the best in the area, I think, feel, and uh, I'm proud to be playing with them. Mm -hmm. Will? Well, I look forward to the mambo lessons you've been giving us. Hey. And, uh, yeah. That does it for me. Ray. Well, I just hope everything works out. And boring. Forward. <laughs> yeah. You're really an exciting group here. I'd like to say that I'm really proud to pray, pray, yeah, pray, <laughs> to play with each one of you and, and just want to say that uh, there's no money left. Okay. We're going back to the music.